Okay, so this is the big Bjorkis toboggan. And it's got a crack in the plastic. As if you can see it just there. It goes to about there. So it can be reinforced either with plastic or wood. I'm going to add a bit of wood, this bit of wood. There's the off cut, it was uh, rough sewn 4x1. I've put a bit of a bull nose on it, it's good not to have uh, sharp edges. For one thing, we don't have any sharp edges on the sleighs anywhere. Uh, so it'll look a bit out of place, whereas once this is oiled, you won't notice it so much. But also, the clients are going to be sitting in there, so it's a lot more comfortable as if it's rounded okay so I'm going to put that into place and then I'll explain a few other little things to you you can see here hopefully that we've also got cracks in the corners You can fix anything with duct tape and uh, WD-40, that's what lots of people say, uh, WD-40 is amazing, duct tape's rubbish. So on this side I've put a little bit of white duct tape with Gorilla Glue underneath. I think the Gorilla Glue will last a lot longer than the tape, but the tape's white and uh, shouldn't be so noticeable on the other side just bear with me a second okay so you see the hole that I've drilled there that's uh, yeah that's to stop the fracture from spreading basically where you've got a crack yeah, better off ending it with something round and uh, it stops the fracture point from carrying on. So I'm, I'm going to add a little bit more Gorilla Glue to that and put a little bit of tape along the bottom there. And uh, I've screwed the piece of wood on from underneath. Focus, go on. <laughs> and uh, I've put the screws through a piece of old runner plastic and yeah so we've got runner plastic this side wood the other side and uh, that should hold a few uh i don't know what's happening to be phone with the focus yeah that should hold the weight of a few uh fat english tourists yeah so i've used uh gorilla glue underneath the wood and basically everywhere where there's a joint i've used it uh, the old runner plastic that I put underneath, it's under that, underneath the tape, in the hole. Uh, Gorilla Glue's pretty good stuff. Uh, another thing is, as if it's a, if it's a multi-day sleigh, then it's only really got to take the weight of the sleigh bag. So, uh, yeah, so just uh, drilling a hole at the end of the crack is probably okay. Just that and a bit of tape over the top of it. Uh, but even the multi-day sleighs, we sometimes put clients in sometimes. Uh, so as if the plastic gets really bad, just change the plastic. It's uh, something that I can't really do at the moment with, uh, with the big toboggan because we haven't got plastic of that size. So hopefully it should last a few years, that repair, yeah, before we do actually have to buy new plastic for that sleigh. So some old repairs for you. Okay, so that's just a strip of runner plastic that's been held on with nuts and bolts. There's nothing underneath that. And I don't know as if you can see, but there's Gorilla Glue coming out the edges there. Uh, obviously you should, once the Gorilla Glue's gone off, you should try and tidy it up a little bit with a knife. This is the sleigh next to it. Both of these have got blue labels on. 
uh, which means dodgy dodgy toboggan bed but you see down here that's nothing much just a bit of a crack and all that's got is a hole drilled at the end of the crack okay so this one right at the back we've got a crack and uh, it's just got clear gorilla tape on it I think uh, it's, hot, it's held for the season but uh, I think I'm going to take the tape off and see what's underneath it and maybe add a bit of plastic to the back here okay so this is quite a messy one but an effective one so we've got one piece of plastic added vertically again bolted on you could use bolts, you could use rivets bolts I think are, are better and then we've got another piece of plastic here I think the trick is to uh, to catch them before the crack spreads and to certainly at least get a at least get a hole drilled in the end of the crack okay well Hope that's been useful. See you around. Bye-bye.